Hello everyone. Welcome to Trade of the Day. It is June 30th, 2023. And we're gonna go over the trade I took today. Um too bad I'm broke and I don't have trading view plus, so I can't really um do all that extra shit. But today in total. Let's look at MetaTrader. Let's look at today's history. Today I made 0.8%. Well, let me focus it up. Damn, I didn't ask to take a damn picture. There you go. You should have saw it right there. Okay, but let's go over the trade I took. So, uh, I realized that I've been marking pre-market lines super fucking bad. It's not 1330. Pre-market opens long before that. So, uh, the line is supposed to be at 12, 1200 uh, UK time. So, we mark it out 1200. And then, obviously, uh, 1430 British time. The reason I do it British time is that's because of what TJR taught. Um, and it was just easier to understand it that way. Fuck, like, fuck making it confusing, right? And who cares what time it's in? At least you got it. So this is what pre-market looked out, uh, looked like. We had liquidity right here, liquidity right here. Or order block after a break of structure. Then we had, um, yeah, more liquidity up here. And then, uh another break of structure for another order block so you could uh, here let me i keep not having it centered so if you look at this right now uh during this moment you could see what trade i took obviously and you could tell it was successful but let's just ignore the fact that i spoiled that i won the trade um we had another break of structure right here then another order block. So when market opened, um, it tapped into this order block and then it went up all the way over here. This candle, this candle right here was the break of structure candle. As you could, no way, no, this candle right here was the break of structure candle. My bad, I got fucking confused. This was the break of structure candle and it was breaking structure to the upside after hitting this order block so i was like we're gonna take longs here and i was originally looking for shorts because as you could see pre-market market swept hella liquidity so we were just kind of waiting for that downside for a short position but it did not at all do that and um so we took longs instead bounce off break of structure obviously locked in we entered the trade right here my first take profit was this 50 percent mark from a four hour high so this was a four hour high which just got it just got swept so honestly fuck it we might look for shorts after this for another trade but because why not but as you could tell um my position i was cut it half here so about 0.5%. And then after this candle right here, and um, or this candle looked like it broke structure. So I and I exited the position fully halfway through that. Because I was thinking that now is the switch where it's gonna start to go short. But obviously I was wrong, as you could tell, because um this shit absolutely fucking went to the moon. But um I think honestly I could go i could go in for another trade right now if i um because it's about to break structure to the down, downside after sweeping that liquidity oh fuck this honestly this honestly might be the move uh if you look right here this is where i would consider break of structure to the downside and then we have hella targets we could take so you never know, but as of right now, um, 
Current profit 0.80%. Honestly, I might upload another video if I enter another trade, but or I might do two uh two videos in one. We'll see how this goes. But yeah, first trade uh exited way too early. Could have made tons of more uh tons of more demo money, but it is what it is. Guys, I come back with bad news. It looks like <laughs> looks like um a fucking Going back for the for the second bag was not the best idea here. Um, I have really no fucking clue what happened. Looks like it was just not meant to be. Uh, a clearly broke structure. It clearly swept swept liquidity. But what could you do about it? Can't change market. So in total, we only lost 0.4 percent. Not that bad on the day. It's better than taking this trade. Or or the the profits from earlier really um give me some some you know leverage or whatever the fuck you call it. But um yeah, if it does go down from this point, I wouldn't be pissed off. I would just I'd be kind of happy a little bit. I'd be happy that um that at least it went in the direction that we assumed. But it doesn't seem to be going that way at all. Unfortunate L. Ugh. Well, yeah. That's what it is. Um, well, yeah, that's the trade for the day. Or two trades of the day. Uh, I th we end the week on a total of 1.7% made. So 1,740 bucks if it was real money. But yeah, it's great. All right, I'll see y'all in the next one. And look at this fucking shit. Oh my God, it pisses me off when this shit happens. All right, whatever, who fucking cares? <laughs> it is what it is. All right, I'll see y'all later.